Hello. Um, so today I wanted to talk about um, <clears throat> news that has been around for a, a while, like a week or so by the time I'm talking about this. Of course, it'll be like two or two weeks or so, maybe almost three when this happens, this video comes out, but um, from what I have seen, um, <clears throat> it looks like a new Friday the 13th movie will come out uh, next year. At least that's what people are talking about due to some news that uh, has sort of been found out um, regarding Sean Cunningham. <clears throat> He has a, a cameo account, and apparently people looked there and saw that he changed his bio, which like reads how yeah he's like the director, producer, creator of you know, you know on Friday the Thirteenth and Jason Voorhees, and you know it spawned like twelve films with a thirteenth one uh, like scheduled for next year, which. As of now, there's been no real announcement of such a film. Um, it's just if you are if you are somebody who uses Cameo, and uh, you know you follow Sean Cunningham or whatever, however you do it for Cameo. I don't know. I've I don't, I've never used Cameo before in my life, so I really don't know anything other than you pay money and then like a celebrity will then send you a message like a video message of themselves or something uh, to you and then there you go um but outside of that i have you know i don't know anything about it <laughs> but that's really it and so people are talking about this and um people are obviously excited um especially since you know the last friday the 13th film this one uh, it's been 13 years since uh, the last Friday the 13th film um, supposed to have a sequel to this one never came obviously uh, it just stopped at 12 you know the reboot having the elements of the first four films and then after that um, nothing you know they're developing a sequel various ideas apparently were thrown around that got you know revealed whenever uh, each time the film ceased uh, happening and then uh, started again and then that just was a process that continued to happen over and over but you know uh, there have been people who were like you know they wanted a sequel to this they wanted to see further 13th in the snow you know, like the lake's frozen and people show up around, like, around Christmas time or whatever. And, um, yeah. Just thought that would be really cool to see. Uh, it hadn't really been done before. You know, not ever uh, outside of, like, maybe, like, fan films. But, you know, those don't completely matter in this grand scheme of, like, the canon of the franchise. You know, you know. <clears throat> There's like official canon, which, because of the reboot, who knows what will happen. And then, uh, whatever this film will be, you know, whether they uh, continue with this film, or this film left off, or if they will uh, go in a different direction. Uh, be uh, another reboot. <clears throat> or maybe some sort of sequel to some of the other films that people really enjoy or whatever which if that's the case and many of the films will then just not count or matter uh, but the big thing is that people have also talked about is that the lawsuit has to be officially resolved you know it was said some time ago that you know that you know Sean Cunningham would not continue to go through the court process after you know Victor Miller winning twice so at that point it's like okay I've got to 
actually come together in some way and just sit things out, or like sit things out on the table and then discuss. You know, he owns, Victor Miller owns the, you know, the North American rights to the original film, so now the deal has to be made, so everyone involved is completely happy. Like, he'll get a percentage of the profits of anything from here on out, and then Sean Cunningham and his company and everything else will get the rest. Um... <clears throat> Now, it seems pretty nice overall, um, it, it, since it seems that is the case. They finally were able to come to an agreement, like, you know, it, which in a way, usually this sort of, again, thing has happened before where the, the person who you know, wants the rights back, you know, they will be given a percentage of profits from that point forward after a deal is made about, regarding like a certain film or franchise that they, you know, wrote or uh, created, you know, without ever any court system ever um, getting involved. <clears throat> uh, so, it looks like uh, all that's resolved and you know, Victor Miller will get his percentage, and the rest will go to Sean Cunningham and his company, and of course, you know, you know like Warner Brothers, which will you know, distribute the film and all that stuff, so it's, it's, it's very, it's very interesting, um, now that this has all come out, uh, in the open. And uh, people are saying how, you know, the next Friday the 13th this year is in October, so, you know, next month. You know, like, that would be the perfect time for them to actually announce a new movie, as opposed to just uh, have it on Sean Cunningham's cameo. Like, he knows this is going to happen, like, they're on the way to do it. Victor Miller, you know, probably knows, like, as soon as this deal is done and he's happy, they're happy, everyone's happy they'll make the new Friday the 13th, so, you know, I'm sure everybody involved knows, you know. Of course, if this is all 100% legit, um, which, I don't know why Sean Cunningham would write such a thing on his cameo if this was not accurate, and I'm assuming it is his actual cameo, like, people have actually, you know, have paid and receive videos from him or you know whatever I'm just gonna guess that because otherwise why would this be in the news I'm sure it would have been you know debunked to be somebody's uh, some person who just made a fake account with Sean Cunningham's name and his picture and all that so um, I'm gonna guess that that is his real account and that this is real and he's changed it because you know, getting ready to make the new movie. Um, you know, I'm I'm curious about <laughs> this new film. Um, hopefully, you know, it will be good. Um, of course, I've already talked about all these films, uh, like last year, and I mentioned the third film. It's 40th anniversary, and in a couple of years, I'll talk about the fourth film fourth film's 40th anniversary and yeah i'm just real you know i'm with this news i'm happy you know i'm happy as a fan you know i hope this is actually true and it's not just stuff people are saying and then you know people get excited and then they're all uh just real happy only for absolutely nothing to come of it and it was like just there was no real chance of this ever happening, so it was kind of, you know, like, pointless. Um, I hope that's not the case. I hope uh, this truly is happening. Because after 13 years, you know, the, the whole sequel happening, consistently hearing word, yes, it's going to happen, no, it's not. 
Derek Mears, who played Jason in the reboot, is contracted to do, you know, another film where he's Jason. And uh, if not as Jason, then like the company that produced it, uh, Platinum Dunes, I believe is the contract that he had with. So if it wasn't Friday the 13th, it would have been with them. So if they wanted him in another movie, he'd have to do it regardless if it was him as Jason Voorhees or not. Um, but I thought he was a really good Jason. Um, obviously, people will always love Kane Hodder, and he did an excellent job. Um, and I think I've talked about how I really love Ted White. I liked how he... I, I just liked how his performance as Jason in Part 4. Also, that's my favorite uh, film of the franchise anyway. Um, but, you know, really all the Jasons, you know, they all did a very good job with, with uh, you know, what they were given. You know, some movies are, you know, not the absolute best of the franchise. But, you know, even the ones that are seen as weak, you know, there's at least some entertainment uh, value there. And whoever is Jason in those films are generally, you know, uh, generally uh, good. So yeah, I hope um, I hope this is legitimate and um, people aren't just running with it to just say uh, this is happening and just to kind of give hope only where there really is no hope. Because that would suck. Um, but yeah, hopefully we will get more news, especially in October, because that would be even uh, better. I, uh, yeah, I hope this is legit and we will get further actual true confirmation outside of uh, whatever is on Sean Cunningham's cameo bio. Um, hopefully him, himself, or his company or somebody who is close to him can actually announce it uh, to be happening because, you know, actual confirmation is what is needed because otherwise it's like people are getting excited just for, you know, the disappointment and that sucks. So let's all hope a real announcement will come soon and uh, we'll all be happy with whatever what is announced. And I'm sure they can't uh, divulge in all the stuff of what, um, you know, what the deal is and what, like, comprised of and all that. So, obviously, we won't be getting any details, but, you know, all we'll ever need to know is Victor Miller is happy, Sean Cunningham's happy, Jason Voorhees will be in the next film. And yeah, uh, that's what people want. And, uh, you know, and a lot of people want it to be simple, want it to be basic, uh, back to the woods and uh, at a camp and Camp Crystal Lake and, you know, teenagers go there and then get killed. That's what people want. Um, but, you know, studios don't always want that because it's just the same thing. And, you know, and even sometimes the audience also gets tired of that because it's like, you know, you know, nothing new is really going on. It's kind of boring. Um, so there's always that. But, you know, uh, sometimes it's best to go back to the basics while sometimes it's good to go and try to see if there's anything new that can be done. So I don't know. I don't know what they'll do. You know, with the last film... They try to put it back or go back to the basics of the films, um, uh, like the first four, and just mix it all that into a you know then modern setting, which I guess in a way it's still you know like two thousand nine and now it's obviously things are different now, but at the same time various things are fairly similar though of course you know there's like streaming and stuff so who knows maybe they'll have people commenting about stuff that's uh, streaming or whatever um 
Now we'll just have to wait and see what will happen. Um, I'm open for the best. I hope the film will be good when it's actually made. Um, but yeah, I thought I should at least talk about this, because considering I've talked about this franchise quite a bit. Um, and yeah, that's really it uh, uh, regarding this news. Not much anyway, but you know, I guess it's worth talking about what could happen and uh, what we'd all hope to happen. So if you enjoy Friday the 13th, you can leave in the comments below what you would like to see. Would you like another reboot? Would you like a sequel to the reboot? Would you like something like Halloween where it just disregards everything that ever happened after the original? Or one of the first, like, four, six or so. And then continue from there. Um, or whatever, you know. I think Jason Voorhees being the killer is basically a, uh, an absolute must. Because people these days don't want any killer outside of Jason Voorhees, you know. You know, remaking the film. You know, then, of course, you know, he'd be in it, but he'd have to be a kid. He couldn't be the killer. Not until a sequel to that remake, and whether that would continue with, like, these films or so, then, yeah. Um, but, yeah, let me know what you think about it and what you would like to see. Um, I just want to see a new Friday the 13th film with Jason as the main guy going around killing people that's me but you know if the film is good and he's not the main killer or whatever you know i, I want him in it at least you know if that makes sense i want him in it preferably as the main killer but you know if they're able to make a good film where he's not the main killer um then all right you know as long as it's good then fantastic um yeah so yeah that's really it and if you want you can go into my link tree and buy my book my western book the wandering sheriff and my book of short stories uh, downtime and work conversations yeah. available on amazon for ebook paperback and hardback so whichever you uh, prefer, you can uh, buy it if these sound interesting to you. Um, yeah. I hope all of you are having a great day. Hope all of you are having a great week and a great weekend. And, uh, or had a great week, I guess. And we'll have a great week. Um, and I'll see you all next time. Take care.